It's the principles of freedom and liberty that have the answers for every single one of us.
we're a poorer country, we have less freedom, and we're overly involved in overseas. Many, many great nations have done this in the past. It seems like it's almost habitual, and therefore we have to point out exactly where our problems are, why we are a poorer nation, why we have less freedom, why we are greatly in debt, why we continue to spend the money, because one sure thing is there's no way that we can dump all this debt, all these problems on the next generation because it's unfair, it's unsustainable, they can't pay the debt, and we have to take it upon ourselves to change the course of our history in this country. Cut 40,000 laws off the books 
And this is what the founders understood. They said only silver and gold could be legal tender, and this would restrain the growth of government. So what else does it do when you can get away with not direct taxation and direct borrowing, you can print the money? You engender the welfare state, the entitlement system, and tragically, the warfare state as well. What we need to do is end the wars that 
bring our troops home. And say, Patriot Act, 
And it, it, it boils down to, you know, what should the role of government be? Should the role of government be uh, an instrument to protect us against ourselves and our own bad habits? That's what they have assumed. They, they so far, well, there are some moral authoritarians that would like to get involved in, uh, in, in some of the uh, moral issues. But basically, uh, it, it says that the government uh, is going to control us and tell us what we do economically and personally. Generally speaking, they don't you know, mess around with our religious and spiritual freedoms and our intellectual pursuits. But forever now, for a hundred years, it's assumed that we allow the government to tell us what we can do with our own bodies, what we can smoke and drink and eat, and, and this would just lead to a total disaster. It is a total sacrifice of liberty. It's who owns your body and who owns our lives and who makes our decision. And let me tell you, there's one thing. I've met a lot of politicians. I've met a lot of bureaucrats in Washington. They are not smart enough to know what is best for you.
that it doesn't take a total majority to change the world. It takes an irate tyrant's minority willing to start the brush fires of liberty in the minds of men. But when a good idea comes along and uh, an idea that is time has come, it cannot be stopped by governments, by tyrants, or by armies. That is where we are today. We will win.